Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we try to work with nature, but it seems like we are doing the work and nature is just what it is. It's not bad. Some report back on our swale systems our latest canals, our supplementary water to rainfall. We have a swale going that way, a swale coming this way, and uh, <clears throat> it's the highest existing swale system we have, and um, it's not the highest point of the land. There is ample scope for broadening the swale systems. <coughs> Today not, perhaps tomorrow. So this swale is now connected to the creek and uh, the volunteer, Zach, is clearing this because we don't have, want a build-up of um, water flow. The, the, the water must carry on moving. So we will widen this mouth here. And this water leads to the pond eventually and then to the lowest part of the land. This looks much better already. <coughs> Zach says that his OCD drives him to make this canal as, ah oh sorry, this swale as proper a swale as possible. Here we have removed the brush in the past, but now we will take it to a permanent place in the next swale, so that this, this can become a, a canal system. And this is what we have been doing. This is not straight, but that's okay. It works for us. We will now build on the left hand side with cinder blocks. So the end product will be about 50 centimeters wide canal with about 50 centimeters high. That's ample. That's more than enough water that we can handle. The idea is not to have maximum water possible. Yes, maximum water possible for our existing system. This is where we will tap into the supply from the culvert. The cement, the concrete will be extended <clears throat> in this way to have a proper entrance. We will excavate that area further to have a kind of funnel. And uh, then we will start building here with these stones up to the fence and then we'll carry on with cinder blocks and we will also stack a lot of stones against this so all of this will be stones 
because the flow of the water comes that way and actually spills over here a lot and not that way not upwards but more this way and all of this will be washed all the soil will be washed away so we will bring the soil towards this wall here and then the idea is to have these bigger boulders like this one and this one there's another one buried there that we will unearth and place it here in the stream in the flow we have some more boulders there as well perhaps that one can also come this way perhaps that one can come down we are full of plans but plans need to be executed the hours are limited the energy the power the workforce is limited the resources are limited but sufficient for our happiness and our joy to be on this farm to have this system going there are lots of questions about the erosion that will take place there but uh, I'm happy to work with it and see how it goes um, there's only two or three times in a year the water flows beyond our control and uh, that entrance is at the back where the pressure is low the velocity of the water and the kinetic energy comes down here so that is quite protected only when it's full it will start filling that canal this is how we have had our test uh, pipes that we used before that worked quite well it was about half of the size of this canal and it also filled up with salt quite quickly so uh, this cement here the concrete is about five centimeters thick i am not uh, preoccupied about whether it will crack or i should have had some breaks in between it's all okay uh, this is a water flow system that i need uh, a few times in the here to fill the pond and to fill all the swells so far so good things are happening the um, work we have done here will actually all the soil will go back against that wall over there same with these i try to keep that tree and that makes me happy and the canal is not perfectly straight it's also okay Till next time, goodbye.